Hey everyone, and welcome back to another Dragon Hunt video. Now today it's going to be real quick. I simply just want to do a quick little shop guide. I've seen people ask questions on this a lot in the Discord. I figured this is um, the best place to do it. It's just a quick little guide on YouTube, hoping to keep it under, you know, 5-10 minutes. So let's just discuss this. Uh, a couple things to lay out first, though, is if you're free to play, um, I I'm going to try and reference that. Uh, if you're light spender, things also uh, make a difference as well because some of the things that you can buy in here, especially in the daily shop, uh, require diamonds. So it's going to be just a little reference. Uh, so we will touch on that, okay? So starting off, this ascension dust, this is where you're going to be bottlenecked almost most of the time when you're leveling up your heroes. And it's certainly going to be your bottleneck once you get your first four heroes up to level 240, which is probably going to take you anywhere from a month you know, month and a half, two months, depending on how much you spend, or if you're free to play, might even take you three, four months. But if you're in it to just slowly grind, log in every once in a while, just enjoy the grind. That's why you're playing the game, right? So if you want to level up, it's certainly this Ascension Dust where you're buying this for gold, which won't really be a bottleneck when you're leveling heroes up. I assume that gold will 100% be the bottleneck once you start getting immortal gear and you're trying to shuffle around, you know, your uh, your substats on your immortal gear, I'm sure that's going to be, you know, a big bottleneck leveling up that gear. But I haven't hit that right now, so I'm really not worried about it. As you can see, I'm not, uh, I'm not purchasing this stuff. Uh, down the road, I might regret that, but I'm not right now. So the Ascension Dust, definitely. So this whole top row I'm recommending that you buy. Uh, the evolution spirits are another bottleneck that people may run into uh, especially if you're trying to level up heroes to like immortal five it takes a lot um, even to immortal two which is a pretty good boost for most heroes is still a lot of evolution uh, spirits so that's kind of why i buy this every day and then you know the times one of the ascension scrolls well not ascension scrolls hero recruit scrolls uh, traditionally this costs 240 gems for one but you can buy one at the shop every day for like 194 gems it is efficient so you should buy it now these bottom two pieces again i've told you that the ascension dust and the hero spirits are kind of a bottleneck um, this is something that free to play people probably shouldn't buy but if you're a bit of a spender or you spend a little bit in the game and you're efficient with climbing up in arena and lion king championship uh, these two things will generate a lot of gems for you and you'll be able uh, to have enough gems to buy that stuff efficiently without really affecting your progress the thing is and this is a key that i need to mention in this shot when you're spending those gems and also, as a side note, when you're doing fast rewards on the AFK awards, which I also recommend, it is going to tap into your recruitment ability because your gems is probably the best way to actually recruit heroes. They don't give out a whole lot of recruitment tickets, in my opinion, after the first couple days. Uh, what they tend to do is give out a decent amount of them in the login rewards like each week. Uh, that's where you're going to get most of them. So uh, if, if you're buying these things that I'm recommending in the shop, uh, your gem uh, amounts are going to be lower. But in my opinion, there's other ways to get uh, additional heroes. And on top of that, this is kind of just a side note. I think the most efficient thing to do for new heroes is to summon to 50 to get your first copy. Pull this 80 from uh, your recruitment crystals and then get uh these 30 you know universal shards and then get out that is the most efficient way to do it because the game throws a bunch of this additional currency your way called proof of hero where you're able to buy additional copies of these things along the way so i think you should use your gems when applicable to buy a bunch of different things get your afk awards and level up your heroes because a lot of the SR heroes are actually really, really viable. And you don't always necessarily need, you know, like a crazy SSR hero if you're just trying to scale 
uh, you know, on, on a decent pace in the game. If you're trying to rush and be at the top of everything, you know, that's not really going to work for you. You're just going to spend a whole bunch of money and recruit heroes anyway. But that was just a little caveat. So if you're free to play, I don't know if I would recommend these two. If you're a light spender, I would spend these and just get the most out of your arena gems that you get every single day and especially after reset. So that's that. So the friendship shop. The very first thing that you should be buying are these scrolls. The reason why is this general hero recruit, you get 10 of these a day just by uh, completing one of the other game modes. And it also shows you here what it is, ruler trial. Um, but you can also get these tickets from, you know, f uh, friend invites, friend coupons by getting friends and then sending out your friendship tokens and then getting at least 30 a day. And then uh, these scrolls cost 15 and I think you can get five of them a week or something like that, but you should totally be doing that. Uh, the, the big reason is you can pull SRs and I just talked about that. So if you're getting free SRs, um, a lot of these heroes are really, really viable. You know, Bobo is a really great SR, completely underrated, icy, very, very good. Thera, good. Jerry, good. Maya, very good. Shuri even has her uses. Skade. Like, all of these heroes are a little bit underrated. On top of that, the more ascensions that you get on these rares and normal rares, every time you're pulling these shards, you're actually going to get a high amount of these evolution spirits. So you definitely want to be spending your friendship tokens on those scrolls first. And then after that, you can move on to the evolution spirits, which would be my next suggestion, um, or the stardust. Now, these um, mirage challenge chests are actually going to be very, very useful once you can heat, hit stage 17 on dungeons, but that's going to be a long ways away. So I would just recommend doing the scrolls, the evolution spirits, and the dust for now. When it comes to ruler trial, this one's a little difficult. Um, because Natalie, I think, is a good tank, the problem is tanks aren't super viable this early in the game. They may end up being pretty viable down the road. And I think she's pretty useful considering she has, you know, crowd control, which tends to be pretty strong in this game. Uh, and on top of that, they do give you her exclusive weapon, which is another really important part of the game. But I don't know if I would recommend this, especially if you're a free-to-play player. I would focus more on the specific SRs that you need uh, with prioritizing heroes like Icy, who's really good in the Demon Dungeon, Thera, who is a great uh, turbo and healer, Bobo, who's pretty underrated and really good in additional dungeons. Heroes like that, I would highly suggest targeting first. Um, another thing that I need to mention is every time you unlock a higher stage in ruler trial you have the ability to buy 200 of these uh, talent token uh, talent tokens or coins and you should be buying these 100 percent because uh, increasing your talents on heroes makes them a lot stronger now if you know you're a big spender or whatever and you're just going to get a bunch of these heroes over time uh, you can definitely buy these Hero Evolution Spirits, you know, to upgrade all of your heroes to Immortal 2, Immortal 5, all of those things. Um, but that's what I would recommend. Probably going for these first, of course, because they are the best value for those talents. And then um, picking and choosing individual SRs that, get, that are going to get them to like Eternal 2 or even Immortal 0 to really help you progress in some of those dungeons that I mentioned. So when it comes to the guild shop, your guild actually has to, uh, your guild leader has to unlock uh, different levels uh, of this shop. And you do this actually by participating in it. Uh, I think it's called construction. Yeah, so you can construct up to 10 times a day. And uh, once you do that, you'll hit, hit these limits, but you get these coins. And these coins are uh, able to level up either your lobby, your gameplay, or your guild shop. So you see here that uh, we don't have level 6 unlocked. So I only have uh, level 5 available to my guild here. So I can't buy uh, these 
uh, gear enhancement coins, which are really valuable. So the first thing that I've been doing was buying Joan shards. Uh, Joan is a fantastic hero, and if you have ways to farm her up, uh, I highly recommend it. She's one of the best healers in the game. Uh, she also has turbo in her kit, and she supports one of the other best heroes in the game, uh, which is Guan Yu. Uh, I would not buy these SR books. You tend to get a decent amount of them just from Arena, and you just level up your SRs over time. Trust me, uh, you can wait on these just because uh, a lot of times the SRs are going to be like a complementary piece to your SSRs. Uh, I mean, what I mean by saying that is a lot of your talents are going to go to your SSRs first, and then afterwards your SRs are going to get some of the remaining talents. And by that time, you should have, you know, enough books to specifically target specific SRs. So I wouldn't waste it on that. Um, if you do have, I think this is level 3 or 4, the game gives you 6 exclusive weapon uh, tokens that you can buy. I don't know if it's once a week. I don't know when this resets or if it's, you know, a month, two weeks. I can't remember. Uh, this is your top priority, uh, other than Joan, in my opinion. After that, if you want to get Joan's exclusive weapon, I highly recommend it so you don't have to pull for those things. Her exclusive weapon, when it's fortified to two, has a pretty nice bonus. Um, so yeah, I would recommend that. So for me, I'm saving up again these tokens, and I'm going to either use them on these refined ores, which level up your exclusive weapons, or use it on these tokens because I have now gotten to stage level 17 in the gear dungeons and now I want to start leveling up my immortal gear to really boost my hero's power. So once this is unlocked, this is probably what I'll be spending my uh, guild coins on. And then last but not least is the Lion King Championship. This is like the 3v3 version in uh, Arena. See, they offer you uh, the SRs of these dragons and they're not bad. But you do have ways to farm out, farm up an SSR dragon here, which is very, very strong. And his effect is way better than all of the other SRs here. So I would 100% focus on this dragon first. After that, my recommendation is to go after uh, these uh, legendary equipment medals. They're the one area in the game that you can actually farm up without having uh, them unlocked with your guild so it's the best way to level up your gear other than farming the gear itself in the dungeon but you can only do three runs of that per day unless you spend your diamonds so anyway that's what i would recommend going after the ssr and then the uh equipment coins so that's all i have for you guys i'm sorry that i didn't keep it under 10 minutes but i did want to run through some of the specifics there um and i hope it helped so if you have any questions, leave comments in the section below, and uh, I'll catch you on the next one. See ya.